Okay, so now that we've got the front half all together and we've just drove it, we know that everything's going to work. Uh, we need to go ahead and get the back half built so that we can get the two together and start figuring out the steering. And so to do that, we're going to work a little magic. Okay, now that worked out pretty good. That was so easy. <laughs> well, let's try it again. Now that we got the steering gear assembly, we need the back end, the other two barrels that's going to go on the back. Hey, now that is working really good. Okay, so now we've got all four of our barrels. We've got our steering gear assembly. Uh, we've got our engine on there. Now we still need to put a motor here. Let's try and see if that works again. Okay, now that is just too easy. <laughs> ah, you know I'm joking, folks. This really was a lot of work. I don't know if we're going to use any of that video. Um, we might. I might put a little of it in there. Maybe we'll do a little bit of time lapse with it. And but anyway, now that we've got all this stuff here, uh, we're ready to see about joining the two together and getting our steering figured out. So anyway, that's what we're going to be doing in today's video. Well, folks, welcome to Outrageous ATV Builds. My name is Mark, and in today's video, we're going to be working on this amphibious four-wheel drive vehicle. Okay, now this thing will be able to go on land or water okay it will have two engines and it'll have a pivot right in the center here with this steering gear assembly mounted on it so that's what we're going to be doing in today's video and welcome to the channel
Okay, folks, we're gonna have to call it a day right there. And hopefully by next week, uh, we should be able to drive this thing. Anyway, I appreciate y'all tuning in, and we will see y'all later. Bye.